solve the system by the addition method. The addition method is also called the elimination method. So the goal is to eliminate variables. So we have x plus 4y equals negative 5, and 5x plus 3y equals negative 8. So usually, um, you can eliminate the x uh, pretty easily. Not always. Sometimes the y is easier. In this case, I think it's pretty easy to get rid of the x's. The question you want to ask yourself is, what do you multiply by x so that when you add it to 5x, it goes away? So negative 5. So we're going to multiply this entire first equation by negative 5. That will give us negative 5x. And then negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. And then negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Again, the question you ask is, what do you multiply by x and so that when you add it to this, the x's cancel? So negative 5. So negative 5x, negative 20, positive 25. Now we add these equations. 5x plus negative 5x is 0. 3y plus negative 20y is negative 17y. And negative 8 plus 25 is 17. So we have negative 17y equals 17. Then we just divide by negative 17. So we end up with y equals negative 1. That's the y coordinate for our solution. To find x, we can go ahead and plug it in to any of the equations. I'm going to use the first one, so I'll write it again. x plus 4y equals negative 5. So now we're going to put a y here, so negative 1. So x plus 4 times negative 1 equals negative 5. So x minus 4 equals negative 5. And then add 4 to both sides. So we get x equals negative 1. So our ordered pair is negative 1, comma, negative 1. Right? x, comma, y. Let's type it in. Parentheses, negative 1, comma, negative 1. Hit check answer. That's it.